Hello, I'm Larry McDudes. You may remember me in such training videos as Harassment in the Workplace, and that's my purse, Self-Defense for the Elderly. Today we'll be discussing social engineering in the workplace. Social engineering is the act of manipulating people into performing actions or divulging confidential information, rather than by breaking in or using technical cracking techniques. Essentially, a fancier, more technical way of lying. Let's take a look at an example. Meet Hector Soledad. Say hello, Hector. Hola, Hector. <laughs> Hector is notorious for missing several days of work at a time and is on the brink of losing his job. Let's watch as his boss, Hefe, gets ready to cut him loose from the company and how Hector plans to get even. I can't wait to go home today. Maybe I'll drink a beer. Call in tomorrow. See. Hector, I noticed you were out yesterday and late today. Do you mind coming to my office? I need to discuss some serious matters regarding your attendance. Hi, wait. You scare me, Senor Jefe. Do you mind if I go to the restroom first and then smoke a cigarette? And then maybe go to lunch. But then after that, I'll go to your office. Away from me, okay? Gracias, Senor Jefe. Hector, your attendance hasn't approved at all. I'm afraid you're going to take drastic measures. Yeah? What are you talking about? Hector, you're fired. Hey? Eh? Yes. I'll get you, Senor Jefe. You will be sorry. See. <laughs> Going back to the CGI service desk, Rhonda is about to receive a call for a network password reset from none other than recently fired Hector. But Hector is not calling to reset his password. He is calling to reset Hefe's password. Since there is no security verification put in place, Rhonda will reset the password with no questions asked. Let's listen in. Thank you for calling the service desk. Rhonda speaking. How can I help you? Hey, ma, este, he fired me. Oh, hello, este, this is Senor Jefe. I need a network password reset, por favor, si, please. Okay, Senor Jefe. Your password has been reset to welcome.1, all lowercase. Can you verify you can get in? Thank you for calling. Have a night. Hello? 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 Hello. What you just saw could be actual events that can happen on a daily basis. Obtaining someone's password this easy should not be allowed. There are many ways this can be used to harm someone. The main way would be logging into a webmail service and sending unwanted and harmful emails to anyone from another user's account. This could risk another employee losing their job. Here are two ways that we have thought of to prevent this from happening. If a user in the States calls in for a network password reset, we can verify them just like the way we verify them in EHR, last four of social, and their date of birth. If a user is in Canada, we can reset their password and send a confirmation email, not only to them, but to their direct manager, stating that their password was reset. We will ask for a confirmation from the user with their manager CC'd in the email. If they do not respond within 24 hours, we can lock their account again. We hope you have learned a valuable lesson and hope you take this into consideration. I'm Sal Rodriguez. And I'm Sam Sotelo. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.